SR-72 in Project Mayhem The Cold War gave birth to numerous innovative military systems, particularly in the area of reconnaissance, and the legendary SR-71 Blackbird spy plane was a prime example. Once holding the title for the fastest jet-powered piloted aircraft of all time, the SR-71 simply outran any potential threats, with a top speed of 2,200 miles per hour. Improvements in spy satellite technology coupled with budgetary concerns to see the Blackbird officially retired in 1999. Reconnaissance missions, however, remain as essential as ever, and the Blackbird's manufacturer, Lockheed Martin, is alleged to be working on a top-secret successor, the aptly named SR-72, as part of the U.S. Air Force's mysterious Project Mayhem. Details of the highly sensitive Project Mayhem were first revealed in 2021 via defense contract information posted online. The project calls for the development of hypersonic engines that can carry both strike and reconnaissance payloads. This matches Lockheed Martin's recent proposals for the SR-72, which envisioned a 100-foot-long aircraft capable of reaching speeds of up to Mach 6, twice that of the SR-71, with the use of scramjet engines. Such speeds have previously only been reached in missiles and rocket-powered test vehicles like the X-15, but never in a manned, reusable vehicle with air-breathing engines. Outside of limited details and design renders included in Lockheed Martin's proposals, little is known about the SR-72. However, some specifications can be inferred. For example, aerodynamic heating presents a major challenge at speeds above Mach 5, which can generate temperatures hot enough to melt metal. Because of this, the construction of the SR-72 is likely to use composite materials, similar to those found on spacecraft and ICBMs. Additionally, new weapons and intelligence sensors will need to be developed to function on an aircraft traveling so fast that it would likely require hundreds of miles of sky to execute a simple turn. Should Project Mayhem prove successful, whether with the SR-72 or another unrevealed platform, the development of such an engine has the potential to revolutionize international warfare. A manned hypersonic plane with a multi-cycle engine traveling at six times the speed of sound could reach any location on the planet in just a few hours, all while carrying multiple payloads. Rob Weiss, retired executive vice president of Lockheed Martin, has admitted that hypersonic technology is already mature, but declined to provide specifics stating that, quote, we can't acknowledge the general capability that's out there, but any program specifics are off limits. NGAD. The Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD program, relates to the development of a sixth generation military aircraft system consisting of a central manned fighter jet accompanied by various supporting technologies. The NGAD's primary focus is on developing key technologies in the areas of propulsion, stealth, and advanced weaponry, and they envision the aircraft of the future not to be a single jet, but a collection of systems, each supporting one another. One such supportive technology is the unmanned Loyal Wingman drone, which could be responsible for much of the unit's firepower. These drones, of various shapes and sizes, are deployed by and supply offensive support to the central manned jet. Since the public reveal of the NGAD program, various manufacturers vying for the contract to produce this multiple technology system of systems have submitted proposals which include digital renders of aircraft unlike anything we've seen before. The Northrop Grumman sixth generation fighter jet features an unusual tailless design with a direct energy laser weapon, and the latest iteration has a particularly chunky nose. Lockheed Martin has proposed two different jets, one which predates the NGAD program and is being referred to by the manufacturer as Tomorrow's Fighter, and the other appears to be aesthetically similar to the Northrop Grumman renders. Boeing has proposed a tailless aircraft that is capable of launching from naval carriers, but has revealed little in the ways of specifics. In this particular race, it appears Boeing are exercising extreme secrecy. Whilst secrecy shrouds most program details, the Secretary of the U.S. Air Force, Frank Kendall, stated that an NGAD craft 
would likely feature around five unmanned combat aircraft controlled by a single modern manned jet, and that such technologies may even be expanded into use with stealth bombers. Whatever the final configuration may be, testing of one version already appears to be underway at the famed Area 51. A vehicle resembling some of the NGAD proposal renders was spotted on a remote part of the base in commercial satellite imagery from January 26, 2022. X-37B The U.S. Space Force is known to be in possession of at least two Boeing-made X-37B space planes, which have been conducting secret missions since 2010. Also known as orbital test vehicles, these mysterious vessels are employed exclusively for classified purposes. The intense levels of secrecy that surround the X-37B have led to some speculation that it is in fact a form of space weapon, potentially one designed to target enemy satellites. These claims are, of course, denied by military officials, who insist that the X-37B's purpose is simply to transport experiments and equipment. The X-37B is designed much like a classic NASA space shuttle, but measures just 29 feet in length, making it tiny in comparison. It's also capable of an entirely unmanned descent, landing on a runway much like a plane without the help of a pilot. Some of the missions that have been embarked upon are incredibly long, with initial claims stating that the aircraft was capable of spending more than 270 days in orbit at a time. However, the fifth mission flown by the X-37B involved it spending 780 days in orbit, and the sixth is ongoing. These figures have been confirmed by various amateur astronomers who have been able to track the X-37B's journey from Earth. A small number of onboard experiments have been disclosed. One involved transforming solar power into microwave energy to be beamed back to Earth, and another the deployment of a small Air Force satellite to be used for research. However, the true purpose of the longer missions flown by the X-37B remains a mystery. Further adding to the intrigue that surrounds the X-37B, a remarkably similar craft has flown missions for China and was photographed recently by the Sentinel-2 satellite. Unsurprisingly, Chinese officials have revealed very little of their motives for flying such missions, but have said that the trials of their own space plane represent an important breakthrough, which is, quote, expected to offer convenient and low-cost round-trip transport for the peaceful use of space. RQ-180 Modern warfare has seen a rapid increase in the usage of unmanned aircraft for offensive purposes, especially reconnaissance and surveillance. When the aforementioned SR-71 Blackbird was retired in 1999, the military found themselves in need of a system that was capable of penetrating the defensive systems that protected enemy airspace. In response to this, Northrop Grumman proposed the RQ-180, beating both Boeing and Lockheed Martin for the contract. Development began in secrecy with a classified budget. The RQ-180 is an entirely unmanned and highly technical aerial surveillance vehicle, capable of collecting intelligence whilst evading enemy radars. It can fly at particularly high altitudes and can be refueled mid-air. It has been suggested that the RQ-180 may be able to jam enemy systems with an onboard advanced electronic warfare system, and its light-colored paint scheme seems to indicate optimization for daytime, high-altitude operations. For these reasons, this mysterious, low-profile stealth drone has been referred to as the White Bat, a nickname seemingly acknowledged by mission badges used by the 74th Reconnaissance Squadron operating out of Beale Air Force Base in California. Still, relatively little is known of the RQ-180. It has been suggested that its development took place at Area 51, and satellite imagery at the base shows hangars that could house an aircraft with a wingspan of over 130 feet. Rendered imagery of the RQ-180 has recently been released, and it has been spotted flying over military testing zones as well as in the Philippines. However, the true extent of the White Bat's capabilities have yet to be acknowledged. WZ-8 and GJ-11 
Some governments prefer to reveal even less of their military capabilities than the US, and one such country is the famously secretive China. Nevertheless, Chinese aircraft have been observed by satellites and at military parades. More recently, photographs of aerial war machines have even been released by the Chinese press. Produced by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, the WZ-8 is a supposed supersonic hypersonic unmanned aerial vehicle that has advanced reconnaissance capabilities. Remotely operated, the WZ-8 drone is launched from a mothership such as the Xi'an H-6K bomber before rocket motors propel it to hypersonic speeds up to Mach 7. Allegedly, the primary roles of the WZ-8 include the gathering of intelligence, the assessment of potential targets, and general reconnaissance. Its high speeds and near-space altitude levels would combine to make this drone particularly elusive. Western researchers have highlighted some of the difficulties that a stealth drone traveling at such speeds may encounter. In order to land, it would have to make assessments autonomously and correct its own speed, as no earthbound computer system would be quick enough to make course corrections for such a fast-moving drone. Additionally, slowing down would require S-turns, likely to considerably stress the physical body of the aircraft. We may know little of the WZ-8, but it's clear that, if its manufacturer has resolved the issues of landing and decelerating, it is an incredibly advanced piece of reconnaissance equipment, particularly for assessing high-value targets or carrying out post-strike assessments. In a 2019 military parade, alongside the WZ-8, another drone was displayed. The GJ-11 supposedly combines the autonomous aspects and stealthy qualities of a reconnaissance aircraft with combat capabilities. The GJ stands for Gongji, which translates to attack or strike. The rare glimpses that we've had of the ultra-secretive GJ-11 reveal twin weapon bays on the undercarriage of the drone, each of which has four bomb compartments capable of releasing precision air-to-ground explosives. Whilst the GJ-11 has not been seen in operation, there's no doubt that, if this drone is as capable as it seems, it represents one of a number of incredibly advanced Chinese war systems. For more incredible military aircraft from history, be sure to check out and subscribe to Dark Skies via the link on screen or in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching Dark 5. Be sure to like this video to show your support, and tune in again next time for the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond.